Hello, welcome to the course. My name is Mahavash Fatima and I am going to teach you how to create a responsive WordPress theme with Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a free and open source CSS framework directed at responsive, mobile first, front end web development. It contains CSS and JavaScript based design templates for typography, fonts, buttons, navigation and other interface components. Let's have a look. We have a typography, then we have tables, figures, forms, and we have other components like alerts badges breadcrumb buttons button group and so on we will create this theme by using underscores theme underscores is a starter theme for wordpress it is very easy to download just type the theme name of your choice theme slug author name author uri and the theme description then click generate button to download the theme. This theme is using underscores theme. Underscores is a starter theme for WordPress. It is very easy to download. Just type We will create this theme by using underscores theme Underscores is a starter theme for WordPress It is easy to download Just type the theme name of your choice Theme slug, author name, author URI theme description and click the generate button to download the theme. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Mahavash Fatima and I am going to teach you how to create a WordPress theme. Please visit underscores.me. Underscores is a starter theme for WordPress. Please type the theme name of your choice. Let's say Mav. Here you can find the advanced options. Click here, type a theme slug, author name, author URI and a theme description. Just another WordPress theme. Click generate to download the theme. Save the file. Please visit WordPress, appearance, themes. Here you can find the MAV theme activated visit the site now you can see the home page of the theme go to visual studio code and here is the theme files this is a style sheet where you can see the theme name theme uri author name author uri description just another wordpress theme version and license here is a text domain tags and you can see the index.php file We learned how to download the underscore theme. For creating a WordPress theme, we need two files that is index.php and style.css. In index.php, we will look the code. Get header displays the header of the page. You can find the file 
header.php it calls the header.php file then we have main tag and here is the wordpress loop the loop starts from here and ends here the loop is used in wordpress themes to display a list of posts in a web page this loop says that when there are posts loop through and display the post we have have post this function checks whether there are any posts if there are posts while loop continues to execute as long as the condition in the parentheses is logically true as long as the half post continues to be true the loop will be continue we have different template tags like get header get sidebar get footer and here is the general tag list like get header get footer get sidebar and so on so what is template tag a template tag is a php function used to generate and display information dynamically so wordpress themes contain different template tags and theme developers use template tags to fetch and display dynamic data for example uh, we have a get header and we have a header.php file when you call a uh, get header function it displays the header of the site this is a header the header is coming from the header.php file you can see the header tag here and the another tag that we have is get sidebar we can find the sidebar.php file and we have a sidebar here click inspect and you can see the sidebar uh, we have a side tag and here we have the same aside tag in sidebar.php when we call get sidebar function uh, then the sidebar.php file will be called different kinds of pages on wordpress like archive page singular page single post page static page front page uh, page home page singular index.php so wordpress searches down through the template hierarchy until it finds a matching template file to determine which template file to use wordpress matches every query string to a query type to decide which page is being requested for example we have a front page.php it looks for a template file in the current themes directory that matches the front page.php if the front page.php is missing it will look to the home.php file if it does not exist then wordpress will fall back to the main theme template file index.php the diagram shows which template files are called to generate a wordpress page based on the wordpress template hierarchy as we have seen that 
if WordPress cannot find a template file with a matching name, it will skip to the next file in the hierarchy. If WordPress cannot find any matching template file, the themes index.php file will be used. So WordPress will fall back to the main theme template file index.php. For creating a WordPress theme, we require two main files that is index.php and style.css. This site is looking unstructured and it has no styles. First, we will create the structure of this website. To create a structure, we need a bootstrap. Bootstrap is a free and open source CSS framework directed at responsive mobile first front-end web development. It contains CSS and JavaScript based design templates for typo typography, fonts, buttons, navigation and other interface components. Please visit the Bootstrap website. The URL is getbootstrap.com and go to the download and click on download button to download the bootstrap save the file I have already downloaded the bootstrap in my theme file here is the bootstrap folder in which we have two folders CSS and GS in CSS these are the bootstrap CSS files and in JS few of the JS files of bootstrap I enqueued this styles and scripts files uh, in functions.php to enqueue the bootstrap CSS file uh, write WP NQ style bootstrap comma get style sheet directory URI dot bootstrap CSS and bootstrap min bootstrap min dot CSS file uh, this is the path of the theme uh, of the bootstrap file close the CSS folder go to the GS folder here I enqueued the script of bootstrap GS file here is the bootstrap min.js file which I included in here WP NQ script bootstrap get style sheet directory URI and the path of the file bootstrap slash JS slash bootstrap min dot JS let's check if it is included properly Press command control U command option U in Mac and command F for bootstrap. Here I included bootstrap min.css file. Yes, it is included. And then we have a bootstrap JS file. Yes, it is working fine. Let's have a look. Go to the bootstrap website. Click on layout. Go to the container. We will add HTML tags and a class 
for giving it a structure our def default container class is a responsive fixed width con width container meaning its max width changes at it at each breakpoint bootstrap is mobile friendly here i want to structure my header this is the header in which we have site branding site title and description and then we have a navigation these are the list of menu items let's close the navigation header go to the code header.php file go to the header.php file and look at the header tag we will add a container here let's wrap it with div container closing tag will be go here will go here save the file let's check it out yes it is working here i added a container tag and wrap it with the site branding and nav site branding the container css is working it is coming from bootstrap min.css file that we have already included here let's add another container in navigation div container and save the file let's check it out so we have structured our header let's go to main tag and a side tag main tag is for the post list and the aside is the sidebar these are the sidebars from search to the meta these are the widgets here you can see the posts you will structure this content let's find the main tag where the site where the posts are coming close the close all the files and look at the this is the article here is the index.php file the main tag is coming from the index.php file 
let's wrap it with the container so go to the header.php file and at the bottom of the header add a div and class container header file is included to all of the pages like when we visit uh, the header appears on the on another page if we go to archive page the header is also included here so the header is common and it is included in all files same as the footer is included in all all files you can check it in category page here you can find the footer too so i added a container tag in header and we will close this tag in footer file so so that we will wrap the wrap the um, main and a side main and a side to give it a structure you can add a comment so that if another developer look you will look your code you can find where is the container tag this is opening container tag and this is closing container tag div tag so our site is a little bit looking structured go to the bootstrap file i mean website go to the columns we will create two columns uh, in which on the left side the main tag will appear and on the right side the sidebar will appear let's create a two column first we will add a row let's add a div in header class row and close this tag inside the footer add the comment it is a row and then we will have a column add this in column and we will go to the sidebar and here we will add column we have created a two column in which we have a container inside a row the main 
post list and the aside is for widgets our site is looking much better let's close all the files now we will create this header structure in which our menu will be look like this this is a bootstrap menu to integrate this you can find the easy steps here how to integrate a bootstrap navbar into a wordpress theme here is the documentation it's saying if your menu is not registered please please register it but in my case our menu is already registered you can see in functions.php file the menu is already registered let's move on to the next step register bootstrap file and jquery we have already registered bootstrap files you can see here this is the bootstrap css and bootstrap js file what we have in the next step uh, it is saying that in functions.php first of all download the uh, wp bootstrap navwalker.php file from the github let's go to the github and here you can download the file click when you open up the folder you will get this class wp bootstrap navwalker.php file copy this file and paste it in your themes directory let's go to the code in functions.php add this code require once class wp bootstrap navwalker.php this file you can get from here this file has been included now let's go to the next step create a menu in the backend go to the dashboard appearance menus and create a menu of your choice and set it to the primary menu and save it in header.php the menu is registered here please replace this code with this name this code select all the site branding div cut it and paste it here save the file go to the bootstrap website navbar select and copy this nav tag and replace this tag with this and 
we will have a wrapper around the ul and li tag here is the menu we will wrap this menu with the div tag and close it here save the file let's add a button this button will be remove and we will add a button right above the menu save the file go to the site and refresh the page we have a menu let's resize the screen yes we have this menu for mobile too add a menu class nav bar nav margin and remove the extra space from here add a wrapper cut this code and add a container paste it and now look the website as yes, it is looking good now we will add a search bar add this code right below the menu call this function get search form now we will have this search form you can search anything go to the home page Here we have a responsive navigation bar in the header. We will add some space above this section. Go to the Bootstrap search gutter. x gutter will will add space between the between the two columns copy this gx5 and paste it here we will get a space here and we need a space at the above of the content let's add padding p 5 py we need a vertical padding the top and the bottom this area should be bigger than the sidebar let's increase this size of this area this area should be bigger than the sidebar 
let's increase this size go to the bootstrap columns and in index.php change this column to column column small for column large for large screen size and it should be 8 and in the sidebar add column large 4 refresh the page the area of this side has been increased you can check the code we have a row then we have two columns the first one is column large 8 and the second one is column large 4 so we have total 12 8 plus 4 12 you can divide it like this if you want this 50 50 percent you can change this change it to column large 6 and then column large 4 you can see the difference here if i write it 6 we have a 50 percent column if I change it to 3, 3 plus 9, 12, we have a bigger area. If we change it to 4 and 4 plus 8, 12, we will get the result now it's looking good let's add some space in between two columns go to the gutter add gx5 in row in header.php we have a row You can see we have a container then a row I added a gutter GX 5 then we got the space between the two columns I need to add uh, space right above the main content go to the bootstrap type padding go below P for padding and add need a vertical padding so we will type Y we got the vertical padding top and bottom here you go let's add the code here close this and refresh the page now we need to add some space right below the image and the title we need to add some space between the image and the title to check where it is coming from can get you 
it is coming from the content go to the content file you can find entry header in content.php file here is the entry header we need some spacing right below the title and this entry meta let's add padding padding bottom 5 let's reduce it to 3 now it's looking good copy this pb3 and paste it here save the file refresh the page we have a padding all the posts need margin at the bottom let's copy this class henry and go to the style.css file and search for post comment and type entry class and add margin bottom 50 pixel refresh the page now I'm going to structure the footer but the footer is inside the row so first we need to separate the footer this code will go right above the footer add some space refresh the page click here inspect now we have a separate container in which we have primary and secondary then we have a footer let's align this photo type container add container class refresh the page I want to move this text to the center of the screen add a bootstrap class text center all the text now save the file and refresh the page now we will add some spacing first we will add a background color background color we will add dark color add bg dark class in colophon and the text will be white add text white add some padding py 5 copy this code and paste it in the footer save the file and refresh the page now we have a footer header main and the sidebar Site title 
post titles and widget titles are looking bigger. We need to reduce its font size. Before writing any CSS, I will explain mobile first. How to write mobile first CSS? A mobile first approach to styling means that styles are applied first to mobile devices. Advanced styles and other overrides for larger screens are then added into the style sheet via media queries. If body uh, has a background color red, this applies from 0 pixel to 600 pixel screen size. If media minimum width 600, this applies from 600 pixel onwards. Let's have a look. If you want to reduce the side title font size, select side title class, go to the style style.css and find the typography section and at the bottom write the class font size font size will be um, 18 pixel and media 600 pixel minimum width 600 pixel font size will be 24 pixel refresh the page on desktop the side title font size is 24 pixel If we go below the 600 pixel screen size, then the font size change is changed to 18 pixel. Let's reduce the post titles font size. Select the entry title dot for class font size mm, let's say 30 pixel or 24 pixel and for desktop it will be 30 pixel refresh the page one size of entry title is 30 pixel on desktop and it will change when we go below the 600 pixel screen size it has been changed to 24 pixel it's reduced the widget title size select the widget title class font size 18 pixel will be fine for desktop will be say 24 pixel yes it's looking nice 
you can see the difference widget title font size is 24 and when we go below the 600 pixel the font size has been changed to 18 pixel it's looking good